Welcome back to Introduction to C++ Programming. My name is Alex Louie. What is a literal value? I, I go over this because I think it's very important that you do recognize what literals are. And especially when you're taking any type of technical interviews and they bring up these jargoned technical terms, you recognize what a literal is, even in any language, numeric literals, character literals, or string literals. Numeric literals are any stated number that you can put out on your program where there is no memory location tied to it. As you know that when you have a variable or even a constant, you're declaring a named location in memory. With literals, is in, this isn't the case. You won't have any type of variables that are tied to your literal. And there's three types of literals. There's numeric literals, which can be represented by an integer or a floating point number. A character literal, which is a single character, and it, you can think of it as a one byte that's being used to display, and it has to be enclosed in single quotes. And then there's a string literal, which is going to be a group of letters and numbers that will be printed out using the double quotes. Very easy to see in the compiler. This is an example of a string literal. So what I'm doing is I'm writing out hello world as itself as a string literal. When I compile and run this, it says hello world. Now, if I want to print out a numeric literal, I can do the following. I can write out the number 5, and that would be a numeric literal. And then after that, I can also do a single character literal, letter A. And notice how the single quotes aren't being printed out because I'm printing out. That's how you print out a single quote character literal using the enclosed qu single quote and the letter A. Simple as that. Just a couple of concepts that sh you should be aware of and what literal values are because I will refer to them throughout the course. You got to know the difference. Literal values, no named memory locations can be used as is. If you're talking about a, a variable itself, a variable is something different because you do have a memory location that's tied to it and there are number of bytes that are tied to it. Now literals themselves have a data type. So what type of data type is this integer? I mean this number five, I just gave it away. It's an integer literal. This would be a floating point literal because it has a floating point type. And then you have a string literal over here because of the double quotes and this is a character literal. Thank you so much and I hope to see you on the next lesson.